close your eyes and center your attention on the breath. Think of yourself being in the center of everything. Because as the Buddha said, the most important things in your life are the choices you make. Where they're being made, they're being made right here. So your attention has been sent out this place, sent out that place. Bring it back in. I say that to John Munn every morning. It's right after you woke up. It takes some time to spread thoughts of goodwill in all directions. East, west, north, south, above and below, out, out, out to infinity. Of course, he was right in the middle of all that. And as you spread thoughts of goodwill in that way, thinking who right now is to the east, who is to the west, who is to the north. Then you bring your attention back in. Okay, you're here in the center. What choices are you making right now? You want to make sure that as you go through the day, you're making skillful choices. That means you have to keep the mind calm, so it's not rushing around. It's not bubbling up with all kinds of emotions. Because otherwise, its own motions, its own emotions get in the way of seeing what's actually skillful. Because we do have that power here in the present moment to choose the skillful course of action. So give the mind a good place to stay so that it's comfortable making those decisions. And it's a good position to do that. They say that judges, when they're making decisions right before, right before lunch, tend to come down with harsh decisions. Then after they're well fed at lunch, then they tend to be easier. So make sure that your mind is well fed all the time, with a sense of well-being inside, so that your judgments are fair and not being made on the power of your emotions. Because we're looking around us at the world and all the trouble that's being created by greed, aversion, and delusion. And then we look back in our, inside and we realize that we have the germs for those things in ourselves. They might not be showing much right now, but the germs are there. I remember years back when I was in Thailand. A lot of the farmers seemed very content the way they were in their lives. I thought that was admirable. And then outside investors came in and offered to buy their land at a fairly high price. And I was struck by how many people were willing to sell their land, use the money to buy a few things, and then they were left without anything. When they had their land, at least they had a source for, for growing food. But then with, now they were without land, and they had to fall into the factory economy. So you look at people and you realize, okay, maybe the greed is not showing, but when the opportunity comes, it may show itself. Well, the same applies to us. So we want to make sure that we train our minds so that greed, aversion, and delusion don't have any chance of taking over, no matter what the situation. So there's work to be done right here. And here you are, right in the center of the world, the center of your world. Make sure that it's a good world. A world that you're shaping with skillful thoughts, skillful words, skillful deeds. And strengthening the mind and concentration, giving it good food inside, good shelter inside. That's what puts you in a position where you can do that with a sense of ease and willingness to stick with it. <laughs>